Welcome to Sula's Paint Bay. This is part of the MHQ podcast. My name is Ron Baker. I go by Sula. I usually like to paint uh, miniatures as part of my hobby in front of the game. I also want to share with you guys some things I've been doing in the Paint Bay because that's my main thing I like to paint. I've recently been asked to help out with a island auction through Extra Life from Tommy uh, Kruger from Wolf Dead Radio. So I'm going to kind of show you how I do my Smoke Jaguar Delta Galaxy and this is what's going to be on the auction from me. Uh, there's other people also from the CSO community, some other uh, fan base pan stuff. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. All right, today I'm going to show you how I do Smoke Jaguar Delta Galaxy. Um, I have my own little way of doing it. It's not by camo specs by no means, but I do enjoy doing them. So I just figured I'd show you what I'm doing. First off, I have Instacolor Primer from Scale 75, the Ice Charm. Uh, I usually use like a watered down black ink. Uh, or not ink, but uh, black paint with uh, about 20 drops of water to black paint. But I've also found Gollum Gray Instant Color works really well in a pinch if you don't want to make the mixture. I also use Warfronts, which is another Scale 75 product. And this one is Savannah Yellow. And that's the three colors I mainly use for the Delta Galaxy scheme for Smoke Jaguars. So, first off, I just start with the primer. As you can see, I've covered the mech with the ice charm. Kind of get that nice grayish, off-white, bluish color. And like I said, we found in the bunt, I found in the pinch that the uh, Gollum Gray also works. So let's mix that up real fast. Now, most people will use the Insta Color. They'll put the Zenithal on there, or whatever else on there. I found to get the actual really good modeled look for Delta. Um, you don't go against what normal traditional would say for the uh, for, for contrast paints. So I basically use the nice worn out brush that I've got, and I'll take it, apply a heavy coating on there, and then you're kind of kind of be even with it. Well, I found that if you do just all over randomness, careful not to get too much blotch in some of your details. You'll lose the details, but you don't want to do that. So you'll just take the paint. You can see I'm not really being uniform with it. I'm just kind of letting it bunch up and smear and smudge. And after that, it gets that nice mottled look that we're looking for for the Jack Smoke Jaguar Delta Galaxy. So we'll get the whole miniature covered here. Another thing is I'm doing this is I'm not trying to, like I said, uniformity kills the model look. And that's what contracts paints like to do. They like to bunch up, flow into the grooves, and stay on the surface. So you've got shadow and highlight built in already. Well, we're trying to make it do something that it doesn't want to do. But I found the instant colors, you can do that quite well with. You can also, like I said, I've taken black paint, uh, scale 75 black, and added about 20 drops of water and mix that in and done the same thing and it actually works a little bit better than the Instacolor but for the video I'm just going to show you that it works out just as well and you can try it at home if you'd like. And as you can see you can kind of already see the model look to it in some of the places where it's sitting but again we're not looking for uniformity we're looking for irregularities and stuff like that but you don't want to do too much because then you lose the detail as well. So it's kind of a balancing act to do. After you do that, like I said, it's just a matter of drying. A matter of getting the whole color, coverage of the whole mech. As you can see it just covers kind of uniformly. You just kind of take the brush back over and make it so it's not uniformed. If it does get a little bit uniformity in some places, that's okay too, because it still kind of overall scheme doesn't look uniformed afterwards. All right, through the power of editing, now you can see here I've painted the mech, and you can see the oddness and the malting already starting to show. Um, I have noticed one thing with I do the ink; it takes about 20 hours or so to um, get done. With the instant paints, you can get done with it to let it dry and get set up in about a couple hours. You just really want that to get set before you do any other work to it. Otherwise it starts looking muddy 
and your pattern kind of loses itself because it's just uh, not dry yet. In fact, I got a little bit too much there, but that's okay. It'll just be a darker spot on the neck. But you can see the uniform, the ununiformity that's in it just by doing the splotchiness to it um, and taking the brush in certain areas. And you can see it kind of molts the modded look to it. So I will show you later on how I put detail in. Uh, but right now, this is the base stages of how to actually do the molting that I usually do for my deltas. And that's the main hard part right there is to get the molting done. But you can see it's kind of ununiformed in places, uniform, but it actually gives that nice modded look that's described as for deltas. Alright, um, just before I continue on here, I forgot to mention that I also use Icaro. Uh, scale 75 color as well for tan. I'll put this down before I apply the yellow and I'll show you that here now. So as you can see I've kind of added a little bit of tan to the places I plan on painting yellow. Uh, this for one helps the yellow stand out because if you mix the black with the yellow it turns green so it just kind of gives a little buffer there but as you can see the yellow areas or the tan areas will be yellow when I'm done with this so I will just uh, continue work on that. And again, I use the Savannah Warfront yellow for my yellow for my Soul Jaguars. Alright, now I'm just going to pick a panel out. I've got my yellow just a very fine tip. And I'm just going to slowly layer it. And as you can see, the yellow kind of stands out a lot more with that tan on it. It makes it a lot easier to paint. Otherwise, you'd be doing multiple, multiple strokes. Well, with this tan, the yellow sticks out. It kind of just pulls the pigment and the brightness of the yellow up more. Not sure how it works. I know it's some kind of color theory, but I've been playing around, and this is what I can see. Do a couple more of these, and I'll show you a finished product afterwards, but you can kind of get the concept of, oh, I got a little bit too much paint there. I have to get cleaned up. You can see I got a little bit too much on my brush. There we go. So you just pick where you want the yellow to go, highlight it in the brown, and then go over top of it with the yellow. And you can see the yellow just kind of pops out there now. And you might have to do a couple coats on the yellow because the yellow is very translucent. But with the brown and the tan underneath it, it does help quite a bit. Even on the spots that aren't fully tan, it still helps. You might have to go to those spots don't have to fully color in tan, but you can see that's where the yellow goes. I've got tan for this particular shadow cat here. And yeah, you'll probably, like I said, you'll still have to go over, but not as much, and you don't have to work that green out from the gray and the black underneath. Alright, I'm going to bring this up so you can all see a little bit better. And as you can see, the yellow has kind of come out on the areas. It's still showing kind of the tan underneath, but the more you do it, the more the yellow shows up. And I'll keep working on this here for a little bit more for you. And just work the panel, work the lines. Like I said, just a little bit at a time. And this is how I do my deltas. It's time consuming. The hardest part really picking out the panels you want to be yellow and then just doing the yellow on them because you can see the yellow is very translucent or opaque or I don't know the wording I'm just painting I'm self-taught I don't know all the terminology but this is how I found to make yellow stand out just having a tan underneath and just applying the yellow top Don't be afraid to move your miniature around. The 
just the inner lines. And yes, I do have shakes, and I try to brace myself on the table when I paint. I also have arthritis, but I don't let that be a bother. I've just learned to deal with it. As you can see here, I've got a shake going on right now, so I'm just trying to control myself. I've got to focus here, so I'll be able to apply it here a second. And as you can see, that yellow just starts coming up. The more, the more you work it, the more the yellow shows up. And if you, like I said, if you don't do the tan underneath, you'll be working it for quite a while. Okay, I'm gonna have to some, do some cleanup, but that's okay. We can clean up. I think I've showed you enough on how I do it. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and pull one of the measures I've already got done. Um, this will be going to a charity auction for Extra Life via Tommy uh, from Wolfnet. So if you'd be interested in one of my miniatures painting, it will be part of the silent auction. Here's one of the shadow cuts I've done for the auction. You can see it's done in the Delta scheme. I will be doing decals here a little bit, but I'm not going to show a video on how to do the decals. So that's that one. This one's still got some work to be done, but you got a mad dog, and it will also be decaled, based, and I got some other work touch ups to do on it just to get done. As you can see, I'm still working it a little bit. That's the one I'm working on currently, besides doing this video, because I'm just trying to help out. And I've got a Grindle here nice mech. It also will be on the auction. Again decaled and of course you can see the base is already on there as well. And then I do do quite a bit of modding of my mechs so I'm going to be doing this one for the star as well. As you can see it is a Stormcrow B. I have 3D printed some arms the AC-20 and the 6, or, or six medium lasers, ER mediums. So that would be part of the auction, but that will be hidden up in Delta as well. And then the last one here will be an Evan Jaguar A as well, and that will be part of the auction as well. So thank you for watching. Um, basically what I've done for this, the other miniatures that are completed for the silvers, I've used like a thrashed metal, and I just picked colors that I would feel would work out. So thank you very much for watching this video. I am part of the MHQ podcast. My name is Ron Baker. Go by Sula. Uh, this is Sula's Paint Bay. I hope this will be a monthly uh, thing going on where the viewers can pick a paint scheme and I'll try to tackle it. But this is the first one I'm giving out because I'm a big Jaguar fan and Delta Galaxy has always been one of my favorites because of Paul Moon and Trent and that whole story. Uh, so it's kind of cool. So thanks for watching. Bye. All right, um, just before I continue on here, I forgot to mention that I also use Icaro uh, Scale 75 color as well for tan. I'll put this down before I apply the yellow and I'll show you that here now. So as you can see, I've kind of added a little bit of tan to the places I plan on painting yellow. Uh, this for one helps the yellow stand out because if you mix the black with the yellow, it turns green. So it just kind of gives a little buffer there, but as you can see, the yellow areas, or the tan areas, will be yellow when I'm done with this. So I will just uh, continue work on that. And again, I use the Savannah Warfront yellow for my yellow for my Soul Jaguars.